Hey everybody, it's Taff, and today's video is maybe a little bit more of an awkward topic, but since it's summer and this is definitely a concern of mine, I wanted to go ahead and address it, and what we're addressing today is boob sting. If you got boobs, okay, if you've got decently big boobs, you probably know what I'm talking about. You go out in the summer and your boobs start to sweat, which is great until the sweat starts to stink. And it's not cute. For me, usually my boobs will start to stink by like three or four in the afternoon. And if I want to go anywhere in the evening, I just kind of have to hope that the people don't have noses because I feel really self-conscious. I don't know if anyone else can smell it, but it doesn't really matter because I feel really self-conscious and that's what we're talking about here. So I was experimenting a few weeks ago and I don't know why I haven't seen a million videos on this so far. I'm sure somebody else has come up with this because it's stupidly simple. But I haven't seen the video about it, so I'm going to assume that I'm one of the first ones, either that or it's so stupidly simple that no one else bothered to make a video on it, and I'm just going to be that stupid girl who's making a video on boob stink because everyone already knew this. So anyway, my secret to preventing boob stink is gel deodorant. Yes. It's actually pretty much the same concept as using it on your underarms. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how I use it on my boobs, except that I'm not going to get undressed, so I'm just gonna kind of like motion and pantomime around, so if you're watching it to see my boobs, I'm sorry, that's not gonna happen. So anyway, we take the top off the gel deodorant. This is the Secret Scent Expressions uh, Passion Detangle. Oh, oh, oh. And it smells good, uh, obviously. So anyway, they come with a little twisty thing at the bottom, which if you've ever used this kind of deodorant, you probably already knew. So. You twist it once and there are little holes at the top and the gel comes out. So typically you would take one pump of this and like rub it on your underarms and you do another one, do it on your other underarm and I don't know, I don't know why I'm explaining how to put on deodorant on your underarms. But anyway, pretty much the same thought for your under boob except that you're only going to use half, let's see, so you can see the pretty side. You're only going to use half on each boob. So I'd take half with my finger and then kind of rub it on the underside of my boob and up a little bit in the center so that, you know, when they touch in the center, they don't like get all sweaty and gross in there. And I kind of stop a little bit shy of where my shirt is going to fall. So like right there-ish, maybe. They also stop like being in favor, being inclined to touch there. So stop right about there, kind of rub it in. And then you go ahead and you go in, you get the other half and you do it on the other boob. Well, yeah, you do it on the other boob. So you go ahead and do that, and then you go ahead and put your bra on and get dressed, wear whatever you're wearing that day. And you'll find that at three or four in the afternoon when your boobs usually start to stink, lay down. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty simple why this works. This is an antiperspirant, which means it stops you from sweating. It's also a deodorant, which means it has a little bit of scent in there, which means that if there is any stink, it's gonna help cover that up. This is also really great uh, day two. If you don't have time to shower, I have definitely slept in, realized I should have left the house 30 minutes ago and don't have time to take a shower. Definitely not as good as showering, but yeah, good in a pinch. <laughs> So that is how I deal with boob sweat. If you have any other tips for how to deal with boob sweat, I want to know in the comments below. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.